It is so important that you have your website on good hosting. If you put your website on a bad, cheap host, a slew of problems are likely gonna occur sooner than later. You're gonna have bad performance. You're gonna be much more open and vulnerable to hacks. You're gonna have all sorts of server problems. You're likely gonna have terrible support. It's not gonna be a good foundation for your business. I wanna make sure you have your website on good hosting. It's kind of like building your dream home and building this beautiful house and putting it right smack dab in the middle of the ghetto or a terrible end of town. That's exactly what it's like when you have a beautiful website that you worked hard on and you put it on bad hosting. I'm Josh, I'm your web design coach, and the hosting company that I've used exclusively since 2015 is SiteGround. Now there's a lot of other great hosting companies out there for WordPress as well. I personally have loved SiteGround and I've stuck with them because they continue to innovate and improve their tools and they've been such a rock for the foundation of my business and a lot of my clients. I wanna encourage you to check out SiteGround as well. So what I've done is I've created a three-part mini video series on getting started with SiteGround. This first video, we're gonna cover how to set up your website on SiteGround and set up a hosting account. In the second video, I'm gonna show you how to set up WordPress specifically. And then in the third video, I'm gonna give you a walkthrough of SiteGround's site tools back in so you get familiar with all the SiteGround tools. So before we dive in, make sure if you haven't yet signed up for SiteGround that you go to joshhall.co slash SiteGround. You'll be taken to a screen that looks something like this that is recommended by me. You'll get a big time discount before you sign up for SiteGround. So make sure you do that. Check out SiteGround. And now let's dive in. I'll show you how to set up your account. All right, once you go to my referral link on SiteGround, you'll see that this is my official referral page where there's a special deal for for you who sign up through it with SiteGround hosting. And SiteGround has a few different hosting options. They have some high level top tier hosting, uh, but in most cases, these main plans are what I recommend people start with for hosting. And I'll just give you a breakdown of what is gonna be best for you. The startup plan is gonna be best if you have one website and maybe you're a startup or you're not expecting you know, a whole lot of visits in the first year or a couple years. This is the best option to go. It's by far the most affordable. The grow big plan, which is most common, is for folks who have multiple websites or if you're going to be interested in hosting some of your clients on your hosting, this is the best plan to go with. And then for those of you who are doing e-commerce or you you have a site that already brings a lot of traffic and you're going to SiteGround or you're anticipating a site to have a lot of traffic and you need the top tier, GoGeek will be the best way to go. Again, they do have higher level hosting options, but for most, for the most part, these are the main plans that people can go with and that I recommend. So we're going to start with the, the startup plan. So we'll click this. And then what's great about SiteGround is you can buy your own domain name here and manage that here. Or if you already have a domain name somewhere else, let's say, for example, you're using GoDaddy to manage a bunch of your domain names that you have, then you can point it over to SiteGround or you can manage the domains elsewhere. So in this case, I'm going to register a new domain. And of course, you can choose whatever extension you want on the domain name you choose. So for this example, we're just going to go joshhall.online since I don't have that. So we're gonna register the domain. So we'll be managing the domain name and the website hosting here at SiteGround. Let's click proceed. And then now we're going to fill out all our info. And then I'm gonna fill this out. Uh, and then once we do, you're gonna have an option to either select uh, how many months you wanna do the hosting. And generally you can choose a data center. I think now SiteGround does this depending on where you are. Um, depending on where you are signing up for hosting. So um, there we go. You can actually change this to the UK, Germany, Europe, et cetera. Um, so obviously we're gonna keep it USA. And then let me just give you a quick rundown of this here because a lot of people are confused by what domain privacy and scanning is. So once you have your information in here and then once you have your um, your, your month selected, for right now, I'm just gonna do one month, but you can of course you know get a better deal the more months you get. Uh, but domain privacy is essentially a way to block your information. For, if you don't select this, you will be getting mail like crazy from people who are asking about buying your domain name or um, you know other stuff like that to where your, your basically domain registra registration information will be public. So I do recommend 
selecting this. Uh, I'm not going to do that for this just because I'm just setting this up as a test domain, but I would normally recommend that you have this there. That way you're going to protect yourself from your pub, your information being public. And then the site scanner, you're welcome to put this on there. However, I use a site called Managed WP, and there's a bunch of other sites now where you can manage your site and other sites where they do scanning. So I don't need this personally, but if you're not going to do any other sort of security or platform to manage your site, then I would probably recommend having that on there. But in any case, uh, normally I would definitely recommend domain privacy and then the scanner you can put there if you don't have Managed WP or something else running your site. And then once all that's filled out, then we're ready to go, confirm, and then we are ready to go and then you can pay now and you'll be all set up. And there we go, we are set up, our account was created after I filled out all my information and then we can proceed to the customer area and then the next video will walk you through the basics of SiteGround hosting.